topic, how to ask yes or no questions. Hi and welcome to you, Faber. Did you wake up early today? Have you started working already? Are you sleepy right now? Did you say yes or no to each of these questions? <laughs> today we are going to learn about these type of questions where your answer is either a yes or a no. Let us begin by understanding what they are. What are yes or no questions? A yes or a no question wants either yes or no as an answer. For example, did you have your lunch? You will say yes if you have had your lunch and no if you haven't. As simple as that. Here are a few more of such types of questions. Do you know how to drive a car? Is your father a businessman? Not all questions can be answered this simply though, right? So let us also understand how to ask such questions. How to ask yes or no questions in the English language. Here are a few rules for asking yes or no questions. Let us look at each one in detail. The first rule states that we have to use words like am, are and is to ask yes or no questions about the identity or description of a person, a place or even a thing. For example, is Akshay your friend or am I a good teacher or is that a blue ink pen? The first question here asks about a person, Akshay. The second one asks about me and I am a person too. The third, however, asks about the description of a pen, which is a thing. The second rule is to use the verb have or has to ask if somebody has already done an action, meaning he or she has already done that thing. For example, have you eaten lunch yet? Has it stopped raining in Bangalore? And so on. Notice that both questions are asking about things which have already been done or something that has already happened. The third rule tells us to use the word do to ask yes or no questions in order to obtain facts about people, places and even things. Now remember that this rule is different from rule 1 because in rule 1 we are asking questions to know the description or identity whereas here we ask questions to obtain facts. For example, do you like Chinese food? Do the children play in the evening? Here both the questions ask for facts rather than asking for description of things. In the first questions, I am obtaining the information of fact about whether you like Chinese or not. Same goes for the second question where I am trying to get information about whether the children play in the evening or not. The fourth rule says that we have to use can or could to ask yes or no questions about possibilities or uncertainties, meaning when you are not sure about whether something will happen or not. For example, can you drop me home or could you finish the work? Notice that in both questions, we are asking for confirmation of things we are not sure about. Like in the first question, we are asking whether the person will be able to drop us home. In the second question, we are inquiring whether the person was able to finish the work or not. Conclusion. Let us go through all of them one more time. With this, we come to the end of yet another session. I hope you will be able to ask people questions with confidence from now on. Thank you so much and have a great day.